Hey guys, Reagan with Texas Defense Articulations. I want to go a little bit over rifle setup. Not because it's anything like special about me or anything like that, but get a lot of texts and emails and messages from clients or potential clients saying, hey, I want to go to a rifle course, but I don't have my rifle set up like I want. I, you know, I don't have the sling that I want. I don't have the optic that I want. I don't have the stock or fill in the blank. Who cares, right? So here's the deal. And I'll say it in front of everyone, right? I would rather you come with what you have and see how good a shooter we can make you with the setup that you currently have. Now, don't be scared if you know it's a super cheap rifle and you're afraid of it not making it through the course. If you brought your own rifle and it messes up and you can't finish the course, guess what? I've got you covered. We'll have another tier one rifle standing by waiting for you with an optic sling. It'll be ready to go, right? So let's talk a little bit about what I see come through class. Now, this is a short barrel rifle. It's not one of those ones with the little dinky, little floppy thing on the end that the ATF doesn't like, whatever. Not a, not a huge fan, but you know, you do you, bro. So. Uh, this is, again, short barreled rifle. We do run into some issues with short barreled rifles when it comes to velocity because we do teach a custom zeroing methodology. And you'll notice that uh, this thing doesn't meet the expansion threshold past a certain distance. And also it's going to affect where your second zero is. If you didn't know there's two zeros in your rifle, I suggest you come to a class. So anyway, this is kind of my normal setup that I run an EOTech on top of a riser. Uh, you know, I usually run a magnifier behind it, but Obviously, you don't need it for this super short barrel. So uh, most of the other rifles you see me running or training with or anything like that tend to have these on. With a magnifier, I have shot out to 600 yards successfully first round hits with good information. So uh, one of the things that you do need to worry about is getting a sling. Don't worry, you can go buy this Viking Tactics or a knockoff of it and just strap it through holes on the stock or anything to get yourself through. I will tell you, standing all day with the gun in your hands without a sling on it gets pretty old pretty quick, especially if you got to do a lot of walking around with it or running or anything like that. So uh, that is a pretty pretty sophisticated setup. You can get more more Gucci with it. I'm not concerned about that. I'm entirely okay with someone bringing something like this. This is a super basic iron sided. It's like an M16 set. Obviously, it's not full auto. No no fun switch on it or anything like that, but. This is just an iron sided 20 inch rifle. Uh, not a lot of recoil or anything like that. It's got a big long rifle gas system, big old heavy buffer in the back, and it just, it's very easy to shoot. Uh, you know, it's not gonna be super easy to shoot at distance, like serious distance. Uh, I hear my Marines, oh, I'm shooting 500 yards. Blah, blah. No one's tagging four inch plates at 500 yards with iron sights on a regular basis straight out of the course. So calm down, All right? But something basic like this is perfectly okay to come to about just about any of our rifle courses with unless it's again designated marksman or anything like that where you're actually needing glass to identify targets and that sort of thing we're working on rifleman fundamentals the vast majority of the time now it doesn't have to be an ar-15 platform at all i've had guys bring out something like this old school ak series weapon system these are great i don't want to call it what it is because facebook will actually throw a bit about it right so there's, this is not a super comfortable rifle to shoot or anything like that. You can see there's no muzzle device on it or anything like that. Got a folding stock that's made out of steel. Yeah, it's not the greatest thing in the world to shoot, but I've had guys bring nasty underfolders that barely work or that barely folded anymore and come do a rifle class with them. Guess what? Those guys are better prepared than the Gucci guy who talks about training. Sorry. So, uh, another option for you. Like, hey, it doesn't have to be simply red dot optics either. Low power, low power variable optics, or low, what the fuck did I just say? Low power, low, scopes. <clears throat> so, also, 762 platform. This is a 308 or 762 by 51, whatever you want to call it, don't care. I understand there's a difference. Calm down, right? So, all I really need to do is to be able to put a sling on it downside to bringing something with a heavier caliber like this is it's going to cost you a little bit more money and the ammunition department for the courses however anybody with one of these even with iron sights can do the exact same course that the guy with the gucci sbr pretend sbr with a little floppy thing on the back you do the same ones it's no big deal so another option for you guys out there uh it doesn't have to be anything cool honestly that's right i mean let's let's be honest the garand's pretty cool so you can come out and shoot something just like this at a normal rifle course. Now, eh, you're probably going to need a little bit of gear to keep those end blocks in with, you know, your eight rounds a piece. 
And if you're running a heavier, more expensive caliber like this, it's entirely okay to work with the instructor and adjust round count on specific drills, right? There's, I'm, I'm not saying there's an enormous amount of value by burning every round you brought with you. That's never been the intention of any of our courses or anything like that. However, there is value in burning rounds, but you're gonna make sure you're getting all those values out of each individual round, especially when you're some, running something this expensive. So, hope this alleviates some of the fears that I hear and that sort of thing when it comes to rifle courses. So, hope to hear from you guys soon. Until then, stay safe. God bless you guys. God save the United States.